All right, so we're going to continue our discussion on the financial myths that we tell ourselves, things that might not necessarily be true or might be holding us back from our financial goals from really accomplishing what we want financially. And so we've done four videos. So if you've missed those, you can go on our YouTube channel or check out my LinkedIn posts in the past and see, see those videos. Um, we've also got other videos that are on our base are on our um website <laughs> website. So if you want to see some other videos that we've done, we did some on investing and some other things, go check that out. Okay. So myth number five is something I hear a lot. And a lot of times I would say it's not necessarily an excuse, but it's a reason people give me of why they don't do any financial planning, whether they do it for themselves or they work with somebody. And it's usually because they say, I live in the now. I don't, I don't live in the future. I, I live for the now. That's the way I enjoy life. Life is so much better when I live in the now. And my answer is, of course, I want you to enjoy your life now. I want you to enjoy things. I want you to be able to take your yoga classes and enjoy a nice meal out and and um, be able to take weekend vacations and other things like that. We want you to enjoy the now, okay? That's not, that's not what life is about, is not being happy and just thinking about things in the future that might not ever come, right? We want you to enjoy the now as well as the future. Now, the reason that I say, look, you should be looking at building towards things in the future, whether that's bucket list items or whether that's, um, you know, uh, retirement or saving or legacy planning or whatever that is in the future that you want, right? Because it's about you. One vision is your vision, right? That's what we say here. So what do you want and what can we build towards? Because when you have something you're building towards it, you're going towards it, you're prolonging pleasure now to get to something bigger that's going to be better in the future, it actually makes you more successful in the long run, teaches you some skills, it gives you some insight on things, you can change course, you can look at things differently, it just gives you bigger insight. So the reason that we know that that can be true is there's been multiple studies on this, but the most well-known one is called the marshmallow test. There's a book written about it. Um, and it's a pretty well-known study. You've probably heard of it, but if you haven't, it was a study done in 1972 in Stanford. It was done with very small children, um, probably four or five, I would guess, you know, that age. And essentially the scientists would put them in a room by themselves and they would put a marshmallow, the big fluffy marshmallows that we all love, right? Put a marshmallow in front of them and say, you can eat this marshmallow now, or if you wait, you'll get two marshmallows. And then the scientists would make an excuse to leave the room and they would observe. And some of the kids would eat the marshmallow right away. Others would, you know, wait a certain period of time and just not be able to hold out and eat the marshmallow. And then there was a small group that waited until the scientists came back and they got their two marshmallows to enjoy. So they took those kids and they actually observed them through the many years after that into adulthood. And they actually found that many of the kids that waited for that second marshmallow did much better in life than the kids that ate it immediately. And it's because they learned something from prolonging gratification, from pushing off pleasure, from, from going through that journey that you have to go through in order to get the bigger bang because they got two marshmallows, not just one, right? So they got a bigger prize at the end. And so that's what financial planning is really about. We want you to enjoy those little things now, but we also want you to think about those big things, those big trips. Instead of taking lots of little weekend vacations, why not plan for a big one. Why not go on a cruise around the world? Or why not go to Jamaica? We do that all the time. Go to Jamaica and sit on the beach. I would much rather do a big long trip to Jamaica than do lots of little trips in between because I don't get the same satisfaction from, you know, a night someplace as I do from really being able to shut down, relax and sit on the beach and enjoy nature and how beautiful it is out there. So give that thought when you have that impulse to do something, 
maybe at your Amazon cart, which I need to practice this too, instead of hitting yes, put it to save and think about it. And maybe that's not really what you want, that $20, $10 thing. Maybe eventually you actually want to have a Corvette. And instead of buying that $10 or $20 thing now, maybe we save that money towards our Corvette because man, that's fun to drive. All right, so give us a call if you have any questions. If you have any disagreements with this, it is a free country. Let me know what you think. Give us a call, we're happy to help. One Vision Retirement, your retirement in 2020 vision.